My name is Adrian Hamilton. I'm the Deputy Superintendent of Police in charge of operations for Westmoreland Police Division. And this afternoon we are here conducting a series of operations, targeted coordinate search, in an effort to apprehend some persons who we know have been involved in the recent uptick of violence right across the parish. Whilst we have seen the spread across the division in terms of serious crimes in last week, um, leading into this week as well, uh, it has spread wide across the, 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 the parish. However, we have been mostly focusing on um, a conflict with its origins in the Sablamar space and between a particular gang that is now fragmented. And we have two persons who are in currently in custody and they are still influencing some of the criminal activities in the space. Uh, those incidents that have been taking place in around the town of Sablamar, we are adamant that we are not going to allow that to continue to happen. We have arrested some persons for murder in relation to recent activities and recent crimes that have been committed uh, up to last week Saturday. Uh, we continue to pursue some others and we are confident that we are going to bring some amount of uh, respite for the communities within the Westmoreland Police Division because that is our responsibility and we are going to be fearless but objective in our pursuits of the accomplishment of these activities. Um, we have also established some control points throughout the, 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 the town, mainly of Savdamar. We have gotten good support as well from the Jamaica Defence Force, who so continue to provide that stellar um, support for us. Um, we have about 22 persons of the particular gang that we have mentioned that we are currently pursuing. Um, some have been arrested since the, since the state of public emergency. Some were picked up, I mean, three significant persons in that gang were picked up during this afternoon's operation. And we are going to use all the tools that are available to us to ensure that these persons face the tribunal and have their day in court. So we continue, as I said, um, with this push. Uh, the, the, the men and women in the parish, um, personnel, police personnel, they are ready and ready to go. Uh, we'll provide the necessary guidance, guidance in terms of achieving these objectives and we will not stop. So this is just the opening salvo in terms of our presence and dominance on, on the ground and we will not stop. And, there, and I want to make this appeal now to the persons and you know yourselves. Some of these persons are no stranger to us or the courts. They have been charged for serious offences and granted bail and they are out there and still committing these atrocities. And we are saying that the good people and the good citizens of this parish must prevail no matter how long it takes we will not be daunted we are coming at these individuals like i said all the incidents we know what is happening persons have been fingered whether you are um, wanted you are a criminal suspect or a person of interest and that is the cohort of persons that we are going to be targeting and moving at in a very serious way um, for the next 14 days of the state of public emergency and beyond uh, so we'll not stop and that, that, that is what we intend to do as police in the parish.